America East and the You Can Play Project are committed to ensuring equality, respect, and safety for all athletes without regard to sexual orientation or gender identity. Visit YouCanPlayProject.org for more information. Stony Brook and Vermont are fighting it out for a regular season championship in America East, and the two anchors of that tug of war are similar players who bring styles to a conference that embraces uniqueness. Tommy Breton for Stony Brook and Brian Vokel for Vermont. I definitely think it's throwback. You know, my dad taught me when I was young to kind of play like that. I would say kind of unique. It's uh, definitely not the traditional kind of uh, basketball player. They score so many points for their team. You know, when you factor in their assists, and you factor in the rebounds that they get, and you factor in the charges and the floor burns and all those things, they account for a lot, a lot of points. And people get way too caught up in how many points and that kind of thing. That's the world we're living in. Um, you know, those two players are throwback guys that, that the winning's important and they account for a zillion points. They just, it doesn't show up on the stat sheet sometimes. They're undersized and don't have a you know, true position and they kind of make their teams click. Both those guys kind of embody, um, you know, what, what their teams are, are all about. I grew up a point guard before I hit my growth spurt, so I kind of, kind of like being that kind of pass first point guard, and then I kind of kept it when I got my growth spurt in high school, and it's been, it's just been with me ever since. He's so unselfish, and there's not a lot of those guys in this country. Everyone wants their points, and it's about them, and it's their minutes, and it's their shots, and it's. He's not about any of that. He's about being unselfish. He would rather get 10 assists than 10 points. I've always been just a uh, pass first. I, I, when I was younger, I was more of a big man, but I just, uh, uh, my dad was a coach and stuff, and that's kind of what, what he preached, uh, just being unselfish. So I just kind of carried that throughout my career, and it's, uh, it's paid off. His passing is, is, is brilliant. I think he'd rather throw, uh, you know, the, the, the Magic Johnson pass, you know, and, and set someone up than, than score the ball. He's always going to rebound the ball. He's always going to compete. He's always going to uh, come up with loose balls. The things that people necessarily don't uh, value, I've always taken a great pride in and uh, just worked as hard as I could to become the best at, at those things. I've known Brian for pretty much my whole life. He's always had that kind of knack just to I'm going to get the ball and you're not going to get in my way. His best quality is he's a winner. I mean, he's about winning. And uh, in this day and age where points are so important to everybody and, you know, stuff that really doesn't matter to him, it's the winning that matters to him. If there's a loose ball, go get it, take a charge, get a rebound. I mean, I really, I'm, uh, I'm open to everything. Whatever it takes, I think that's my role. When there's someone who kind of is similar to you, you obviously want to want to give your best, and uh, obviously for him it's the same. He wants to give his best when we play each other. So it's uh, definitely just shows two competitors going at it, and uh, that's that's what I'm all about. I think we have the same mentality. You know, he's a great rebounder and a great passer, so it's definitely a connection that we have right there. But uh, I think we both have high IQs, so that kind of puts us in the same category as well. So it's just fun to play against him and then battle with him. Coming up next on America East on Campus, one of the top wrestlers in the country is a Bearcat. Donnie Vincent talks about his journey with hopes of ending it as a national champion. This is my last year. I mean, if I don't accomplish more than I did last year and the team doesn't accomplish more than I did last year, I feel like I let them down as a leader. 